Strengths in Education, this is our uh, full second year. So we started off with a very small committee at our school that was a strength education team that we met. And then we kind of took it off into our classrooms and we've been, it's been growing, it's been spreading. Um, there's talk, there's buzz about it. So other people ask you, well, what are you guys doing or what is this? And now that we have um, actual Strengths of the Month and we have that established that throughout the school community, there's a, a common language now that we speak, which is really nice. So the little kids know self-regulation, the older kids know self-regulation. And you can talk with that common language and and it's, it's really grown over the last two years. Each class, each teacher involved does the same strengths with their children, so they're going to do it a different way. We do a lot of stories and, and acting out and things. All the lessons that I do, I'm doing with the JKS cages. For self-regulation, we've implemented that. If you're starting to feel angry, you can remove yourself and go to the quiet corner. We have a common corner. Or you can go to any of our stations around the room and do any of the exercise type activities. Or they can ask for help, say, tell how they're feeling because it's not easy for little ones. They don't come knowing how to do that. They might have siblings, or it might be them, mom and dad. They haven't had to really, some of them interact with children, so they don't know how. So we have to teach them and give them strategies and suggestions on how they can do that. Well, I know that they really enjoyed a lot of our activities with kindness, and we had, we had kind deeds, and we, had, we gave little, they passed out little things to one another, and we have a thumbs up program where they get little certificates for being kind, and so they really bought into that because everybody likes to have someone be kind to them, so you want to reciprocate the feeling or the, the action. So we began our SAT team in September and these students around me were um, recommended by their previous, uh, the teachers from the previous year. We've got representation from grade 6, grade 7 and grade 8. So they all come highly recommended for obvious reasons, they're great leaders and we're monthly assemblies that we have and we focus on a, one of our strengths each month. So we've had gratitude, we've had faith, but perseverance and, and um, coming up self-regulation. We all do things uh, over Google Drive so we can see each other's um, contributions and uh, suggestions. We're just really proud of them. And, and some of these students in grades six and seven now will move on to uh, the next following year. So we have that continuum of leadership from one grade and then new people come into the fold every year and, and these older ones then will continue to share their leadership strength and um, be great role models for the ones coming in. We come together as a school community to congratulate the people who have won the Student of the Month or best demonstrated the Strength of the Month. As well, we come together and we have fun and we dance, which the students enjoy the most. Knowing our strengths and the strengths in our peers allows us to create a stronger relationship or bond with them. And it also gives us a reason to celebrate the unique qualities in ourselves and in each other. The focus on strengths has changed the way I view myself and my time at school by actually thinking a lot more on how my strengths and weaknesses are going to affect the decisions that I make and that sometimes the things that I'm struggling with are really on the strengths that I need to grow and I will continue to grow them. This helped the culture of St. Peter by when we celebrate from FDK to grade eight, we all celebrate together and brings us close to get closer together and helps St. Peter be a great place to learn. Uh, we've sort of all found our strengths and our strengths to grow. So we sort of help each other and give each other opportunities to use those strengths and become better people. One of the things that we did at the beginning of the year is we identify, we did the VIA character strength inventory and the students identify their strengths and their strengths to grow. So we we want them to be able to really understand what their strengths are. So we've asked them to incorporate into a lot of areas of the curriculum and one of the areas is creative writing. And what we asked them to do for this assignment was to identify using their senses, identify using um, very vivid and creative language, what their strength would actually look like, what it would sound like, what it would taste like. And it really makes them critically think about that strength so that they can explain it and really develop that idea. If perseverance were a color, it would be a bright golden yellow for the light and hope that never stops burning. If perseverance were a taste, it would be salty from the blood and tears from people who never gave up. If kindness were a taste, it would be the sweetness of sugar to show how sweet kindness can be. If kindness were a smell, it would be just like a fresh summer's breeze for the freshness of kindness. 
If gratitude were a color, it would be the serene ocean blue in which its waters and thankfulness are unlimited. If forgiveness were a taste, it would be the elegant sweet taste of a grape clotting with your taste buds. If forgiveness were a smell, it would be just like a breath of fresh air, like all your faults have been driven away from your guilty mind. Students now, everyone knows that they have strengths and they can identify their strengths and even if it may be something that they feel that they're not good at or they don't have, they're able to now say, I can grow that and I can get better at that. And there's that mindset that, you know what, you can do that. And I think that's what strength education has done for a lot of our students. Strengths in education!